So I have my easy path device here. Um, I'm going to use this on a patient who is post-op and um, we're seeing signs of atelectasis so we're going to use this so we can kind of reverse that and prevent any more atelectasis from happening. So this is going to um, force them to take big breaths and um, we're going to open up any alveoli that's either not being recruited or um, has started to kind of shrink a little bit. So um, I have this plugged into a flow meter in the wall. We're going to start that at 5 liters per minute, um, but we can go up to 15 liters per minute as needed. So we have a mouthpiece on this end, scalloped edge on this end, and then I have it hooked up to the manometer on the back, on the bottom. And um, so it comes with this little rubber band here, and I'm going to set that at the 20 centimeters of water pressure. Um, that's going to help help the patient visualize where their goal is. They're, when they um, exhale forcefully, they're going to want this red line that you see to float up and um, they want to get it as close to that 20 as they can. So I'm going to instruct my patient to just inhale as they normally would and exhale forcefully and a little harder than they normally would to um, meet those lines up. So um, contraindications the biggest one for this is flail chest. Um, if a patient has flail chest, we're not going to use this. Um, and one thing that this poses a danger in is hypoventilation. So any patient that comes in um, that has hypoventilation or um, respiratory acidosis, we're not going to use this with them.